Hi friends, new and old, it's your friendship, and today we have another piece of the mini world magic from My Little Pony. It is the epic mini crystal bright house. It is the biggest out of all of the mini world magic sets, and it will help you connect all the minier pieces that you've gotten before. And it comes with all these fun little cardboard houses or extra buildings that we can add on to to fill out Mayor Time Bay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the package. On the front, we can see what we're looking at. On the side, it does, whoa! It gives us a bunch of the pieces. And on the back, we can see another way of setting it up. So let's get this out of the box. I'm excited to check it out. All right, we've got the playset out of the box. This is the Crystal Bright House playset for Mini World Magic. We can see that it's the Unity Crystal, the Unicorn Crystal, the Pegasus Crystal, and the Earth Pony Crystal, all right here. And looks like this part comes down as a storage place to put your ponies or other accessories. And here's our handle. Let's see, this must be how we get in. Ooh. Wow. Look at how cool that is. I like the image up at the top and I love the colors. And I believe, oh look, it's a little scrumpy over here with the sticker. Fix that. And I believe these slide down. There we go. There we go. Now we can see the place at. And on the bottom, we can see tons of places to put things. Let's see what all the accessories look like. They come in these bags. Let's open this bag first. Ta-da! Nobody else is in the bag. And looks like it came with, could it be instructions for the first time? Holy moly. Ooh, ooh. Looks like we're gonna learn how to make some buildings and a bridge, Sunny's smoothie cart. Maybe a food truck or another cart, like food cart, and maybe a gazebo. But at least it gives us some instructions on how to do this. Wow. A whole bunch of little itty bitty bitties. Wow. Woo. I lost my tree. There we go. And foliage. More trees and plants. A little watering can and some flowers. Bushes. And maybe window boxes. Looks like it might be that gazebo thing. Our other food truck. No, you know what? It looks like it's got horseshoes and stars on it. Maybe it's the um, sheriff's? It looks like it's got wheels. I don't know. We'll find out. 
Well, this has got horseshoes and stars on it. Ain't the sheriff's, we know that. This is Sunny's some movie cart. And our bridge. And looks like a couple more buildings. Maybe this is musical main melody. All right. Let's see what's in the other one. Oh, man. A billion and one itty bitties. Nothing else in the bag. We do get some stickers. An Earth Pony, a Unicorn, and a Pegasus. The Unity Crystals. Some wings, horns, crystals, horseshoes, hearts, and sparkles. What's this? I'm afraid to open it. Hello? Hello? Oh, are you a bunch of flowers? Yep. Just a bunch of itty bitty flowers like what we saw in Izzy's Bridalwood Forest and in her uh, little crystal keychain. I'm not sure, but I think this is supposed to be a string. Like, it was intentional to give me this piece of string. Um, a, tw a twirly whirly majigger. Some crystals. Looks like tree tops. Couple of them. And. Here's the trees that they go with. We got a lot of little crystals, crystal, crystal, crystals. Some balcony pieces. Looks like some fence. Lots of crystals and crystals. Um, Oh, yay, our favorite, these little bushy rock things. We got three of those. And we did get some more of these rock piles. We ended up with three of those as well. Um, a table. Another table. Some butterflies and some flower necklace lays like we saw before. Uh, we did get some hanging crystals like we've seen before. They were a pain in the butt. Uh, we did get another flying whirly cloud thing like we've seen before. Um, let's see, a lot of flower necklaces, butterflies. We do have some flowers in here. We've got a pie. Ooh, I bet it's boysenberry. And some muffins. Probably orange. Orange muffins. And another butterfly, uh, another flower. Oh my gosh, look at this. Tiny smoothie. Um, and then there's some tiny deco bits that are just like stars. A couple little stars. A little ice cream cone. <laughs> Cute. And we did get four ponies with this one. We get Alicorn Sunny with this one. She's got the gold in her hair and gold wings. Her cutie mark is one color. And her wonderful golden horn. So, so stinking cute. These little ones, I love these little ones. We also got Zip. 
Zipstorm. She doesn't have any of the teal in her hair. It is just pink. Her wings are tipped in purple. Her cutie mark is full. She does have the crown and the uh, lightning bolt. It's just one color. So cute. We also got Posy Bloom. I think this is hysterical. So on um, this toy of Posy, her eyebrows are green. In the Tell Your Tale animated uh, show on YouTube, they are pink. In the movie Make Your Mark on Netflix, they are black. Posy doesn't know what color she wants her eyebrows to be. She's setting trends left and right. Green eyebrows, everybody. And we got this unicorn. Pink. And a darker pink, like magenta, mane and tail. And the cutie mark is a sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. This is Daring Flare. Oh. This guy, his cutie mark is a feather, and his hair is this metallic emeraldy green, and he's this deep grape purple. Look at him, he's got pink eyebrows. It's just eyes and the tips of his wings are like a coral color. This is Maverick Mog. Okay, so it looks like this big balcony piece hooks right into here like that and then these two balcony pieces that we got go in the sides so one goes there and the other goes in here and it looks like our fencing goes around the outside of our garden. Set up our little garden. I bet this is where Posy Bloom hangs out. Okay, I got the garden in. Hanging crystals. They get to hang from up here. And one there, and one here, and one here. And we've only got three trees. We're gonna put our trees together. You were here for Bridalwood Forest. You know how these trees work. They are much easier to put together outside of the playset and then place them into the playset when you were done decorating them. So let's go ahead and get our trees put together. And they do have spots on each side to put extra little decorating pieces. Let's put a butterfly and maybe some hanging flowers from this one and we can go ahead and pop that into our playset right there let's put this butterfly and these hanging flowers in this tree and this tree can go wherever we want it to go They've got a couple different spots with trees. So then we've got this pink butterfly 
and maybe these blue flowers hanging from this tree and we'll go ahead and pop this tree over here you guys can't see that too well there we go all right so we put in some trees and we got a bunch of crystals so we can put some crystals down and decorate the ground there's no um yeah i guess there are i guess these can be can be spots where crystals can go right yeah some crystals. Oh no, that tree fell over. Get him back in there. Stay. Stay, tree, stay. And we'll put a little crystal right there. There, there's some crystals. And we've got these rocks, and the rocks can have flowers in them. And the bushes can have flowers in them. Um, so we can put a bush over here and put a flower in the bush. In the bush. And we can put some flowers in Posey's garden that she's growing. There we go. And we'll just pop our other rocks and bushes around. Okay. We're going to put a flower there and a flower there. We're gonna put our stars all around our door. Let's go ahead and bring that closer so we can put those in. We got the gold one right above the door. We got the blue one. Whoops, knocked that one off. That right there. And then this one. And then we can put that one and that one. There's our balcony. Put that balcony back on. There we go. Oh, and that tree. Ah, that tree. He's not, he doesn't like me very much. Okay. So we've got that decorated up and it looks like a couple tables. This one can have our pie on it. This one can have our muffins on it. I do have another flower that I can put somewhere. So maybe this is also in Posey's garden and it's growing flat. I think, uh, there is a smoothie. Wow, well, sit in that hole, and so will this ice cream. So they'll sit there a little bit. And this uh, goes on the top, and it connects to our cloud like we've seen before. There we go. And now you can see we've got the little top piece on. We still have a couple um, little pieces that we can still stick on. We've got two more of these lays. Um, and there's so many places on the ground to stick things, but very few places to, very few things to stick. Um, so we're just gonna put those there. Posey is in her garden and I think Maverick Mob is hanging out in this tree. Zip is up here. 
with Sunny and I think that he is going to go after that pie. All right. I still have no idea what this is for. All right. Let's see if we can build some of these buildings. Uh, let's see. So the first thing that it shows us is a, which looks like it's building the houses. So let's go ahead and start with hips or the musical main melody. And this one already looks like it's attached. It's going to open up like this and maybe it comes apart. Yeah. Okay. So Pips opens up. You can see the little door even opens so our ponies can come in and out. And she's got some pictures on the wall and some waves. And let's see. So that way so then this folds down and this folds in Okay, so that's how the place fits together. These little windows can open and you can peek inside and see the room in there. The door does open so you can go inside. Cute. And let's do this one. It's odd because they seem like they're already together a little bit. This must be Hitch. Maybe. He's got a star on the door. That's got Rounds. This this could be hitch, but it doesn't seem very hitch-like inside. Do have pictures of the beach, a wardrobe, some string lights, pictures of Maritime Bay, a bed, and down here. It looks like another picture of the gazebo in town. Bookshelf, a rug, um, and that same picture again on that piece. So let's see if we can't put this together. I know that it goes like this. I think it's weird that this doesn't like hook into anything. And then. That goes out, and this comes around, and we hook that right in. And we've got another building. The windows again open. You gotta fiddle with how uh, how this is placed, and this piece hooks in so that it can hook in and allow that to be down. 
Like, honestly, you've got... You can literally look in and see the little... The little house. So there's that one. And we've got this one. This one... Has some pictures on the walls. A water cooler. Ocean. This has got lightning bolts. The you know, old uh, lighthouse, a chandelier. A picture of town. A computer desk, a chair. And the same things on this side. Alright, so. It is definitely easier if you fold all of these beforehand. Oh. And this goes out and let me just push this in. Remember we want to make sure that that floor in there is down. So when this goes in, it doesn't push that floor up. So we can look in and see what's going on in there. They are pretty cool. Pretty cool. And here's another one. So probably uh, Pip and Zip and Sunny. And then this one is Izzy. Maybe Hitch doesn't have a house. She's got an easel and a picture of the trees, some books. I love that her doorknob is a button. She's got a little makeup area. Pictures of crystals and her bed. A knitting basket. Very fun. Well, let's go ahead and put hers together. And make sure this is bent. It definitely makes it easier. And we want to watch that floor. See that floor is being all cranky. Get down. Get in there. Okay. There we go. Woo. Let's push that floor though. Whoa, see, her house is falling. Whoa. Oh boy. I mean, not that we're going to be in the house that much anyways, but still, I want it to look cute when you look in there. Boy, it's like dark. It's dark down in there. She ain't got no lights on downstairs. All right. And there's where Izzy lives. Move these guys over a little bit and move this over a little bit and this over a little bit so we can see it all. And the next one that it has is B and it says it's the bridge. So here's our bridge. And it says if we open it up all flat. So it looks like that. Then we want to fold these pieces up and this piece, <laughs> this piece down and these pieces up. Oh, okay. And then pieces are going to have to go up so that they can slide into here and here and 
then this is going to come right down. And we've got the little bridge. Cute. We'll leave it right there. And Maverick Mob and his friend are walking on the bridge. Okay, and then the next thing they want us to build is Sunny's Smoothie Cart. So let's get Sunny's Smoothie Cart and get that built. It's real cute. You can see the menu over here and her cutie mark here. When we look inside, we can see there's a couple different flavors and some cones or cups right there. This little uh, window opens. I will focus. Thank you. This little window opens. So let's see how this goes together. They do one um, flat and then this. Start bending at these joints. So this will bend easier. When it comes to bending time. Okay, and it seems like that's our floor, and this is gonna come up like this. This looks like this will hook in right here. And then this piece will slide right in there. And Ta-da! Sunny's Smoothie Cart! How cute! It's right over there in town. And the next thing we wanted was this other, like, food cart looking thing. Uh, so let's find that. That is right here. And almost you know what it looks like i bet it's the train that runs through town so we'll just End up all those pieces. Oh, that opens up too. And it kind of goes together the same way as Sunny's did. So we can get rid of. Yeah, and that looks like the little train. Or another little cart. And we'll set that one right there in town. Maybe he's right on the other side of that bridge. And the other one was that gazebo-y looking uh, thingy. So that is this. And if we lay it down like this, these two sides are going to come up. We're going to want to bend everything because if we don't, it's just going to be a pain in the butt when you actually go to bend it. Okay, and it seems like everyone's going to kind of come together right around here, so. Slide that together. That goes on the inside, and... Right 
go. Okay. Oh, looks like it goes this way. <laughs> How cute! Oh, and I bet that goes right here in the center. Just like that. Uh, these can be folded and used to make people's yards. Like they've got fence in their yard. So we can do that. We don't really know what these are, but we'll find out. So here's a tree and the tree we just bend like this and he'll stand up. So we can go ahead and put that tree right there. Um, We've got this tree too. He bends. And he can stand right there. We've got this little tree. He bends. And he lives over here. A bush. So this little bush. Focus for me here. Uh, this is just a little bush. So maybe there's a little bush that lives right there. And there's a whole bunch of flowers. So, oh yeah, and this. This is a brush. Right by that. And then these little flowers. I'm wondering if maybe I can put them on here. And then these other flowers. After I destroyed the town. <laughs> After I destroyed it. <laughs> Listen, Bush. Um Yeah, oh uh, well, everybody everybody had an earthquake in Maritime Bay recently and that just really threw everyone for a loop. So he can't even stand up no more. He says, oh, I just can't do it. Okay. Um, so there's a couple more little flowers that you can put out. There's a couple of these flowers too. Um, but they don't look like they can stand up. There is a watering can for Posey. Put the watering can back here for her. If it stand up. There we go. But there are some flowers. There's a little red crystal. A plant. Another little flower and some other crystals that we can decorate the ground with. We also got these other bigger bushes and in the picture, this bush ends up up there. You can get it to understand, sit there. And the other one that had crystals or these little flowers 
something on this balcony. I don't know if I would necessarily do it that way, uh, but that's how the picture has it. We've got these little rows of plants. It can go places. Another little bush, a little rose bush. So cute. Again, we have no idea what the mystery, mystery nylon string is. Nowhere to put the stickers unless you choose to. All right, there we have it. The epic mini crystal bright house from Mini World Magic, My Little Pony. I think this is a really fun set. It's got a whole bunch of different houses that are decorated on the inside and outside, so they are more like play pieces and not just junk. Um, there are definitely a lot of little accessories. There's tons of places for you to take pieces from the other play sets and move them over here to decorate with and have some more fun. Um, I don't think this would be something that I would cart around. Uh, we're gonna take it apart here in just a minute and see how well it packs up. Um, but overall, I think this is an awful lot to carry with you when you're going somewhere, unless we're going to, you know, grandma's for the weekend or, you know, or to our best friend's house for a sleepover for the weekend or something like that. Then, then maybe we wanna take it with us, but this isn't a take it in the car and, you know, on the way to the doctor's office or waiting in the lobby, you know, until this meeting's over kind of thing. Definitely not. Too many pieces, too much setup time, and then play time and then take it down time. You gotta unfold all these buildings, I'm sure. So let's see what it's like to take it apart and close it back up. And, um,. Let's move all the buildings. I feel like these are going to have to get put inside, but let's move the buildings. Okay. That building and these buildings. trees and things. Get this building off. And get those flattened. Then the ponies had a spot in the front for them. So we'll separate them. And we can take all these pieces apart. We are going to have to take it all apart in order to close it. That's just been our experience. But this one seems to come apart pretty quick. Maybe it's because it's another one that we've done, but it seems to come apart a lot quicker. Fence out. There's our watering can for Posey. Take our flowers out of here. Okay, and we take our balconies off. Pop this balcony off, and then just take our flowers off. And when we take this, these off, they can they stay on pretty good. They don't come off, so they probably could stay right on there if you wanted them to. And these are flat, so I'll probably leave them pushed right in. We are gonna want to take this top piece out. Okay. If we put everything in like that. It will shut. So, getting the back open. Let's see if I can put some of our paper pieces in here too. Our magical string. And it does shut. 
Um, not fully though. You see that? How it's got that. Much to it. So be careful because this fell out through the side. I don't think you're going to be able to fold up your buildings and put it inside. Uh, but this little compartment here, we can put all of our ponies in and shut it. And then all of these buildings, you would either take them down every time and put them back up when you wanted to play or maybe these would stay put as actual pieces and hang out like on a shelf or something. Um, so you don't have to put them together and tear them apart every time and that way they don't get squished. Overall, I enjoyed this one a lot better than I did the Bridalwood Forest or the Zephyr Heights. I do think there's a lot of pieces for kids to lose, a lot of setup time, a lot of taking and putting away time. Um, but overall, I think it's really cool. I love this set. It's probably my favorite out of the ones that we've looked at besides the Crystal Keychains. You can see all the videos for Crystal Keychains and the Bridalwood Forest and Zephyr Heights set on my YouTube channel, so please check those videos out. And let me know in the comments what you think. Will you be buying these for your kids? Do you think that they'll lose all the pieces or you think that they're going to be just fine to handle these little sets? Super, super cool. Well, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed hanging out, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, click the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And if we aren't friends yet, you know exactly what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around for all the other adventures we're going to have with My Little Pony and more. Until next time, bye.